Michael Zeldin joins me now. He's a former US federal prosecutor, one of our legal analysts. Uh, I've read your views on this uh, um, and, and how this is developing. Uh, first of all, on the sheer legal side of it, before we even get to the charges in the US, the US now has to prove what to get the British to agree to extradite? That he's committed, or there's probable cause to believe, that he has committed an extraditable offence. There are agreements between the nations that define what crimes can be extraditable. That's what the presentation of evidence from the US to the British courts will concern, and the court will have to determine that this is a crime that Britain is prepared to extradite someone to the United States for trial. And that'll be determined largely in, 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 in terms of whether they view this as a criminal act that Britain would bring against its own national. That's the key to it, isn't it? It's about whether or not the UK he, he, this would have been a, a chargeable offence in, in the UK. But on the US side, it's interesting what he's been charged with. This idea of conspiring to access a computer rather than basically treason, espionage or anything else. That's right. The problem here is that Julian Assange is WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks is an organisation that disseminates information, whether you like what they what they disseminate or not is besides the point. The United States government didn't like the fact that the New York Times disseminated the Pentagon Papers, but they were still a news organization protected by our First Amendment. So if WikiLeaks, and it should be, treated as a First Amendment news organization, then the question is, what did Julian Assange do that violates criminal laws as opposed to just disseminating information that somebody else in violation of law gave to him. And that's at the heart of the inquiry with respect to it, which is why you hear his lawyers saying this is an attack on journalism. But by going for this particular offence, which was sealed about uh, a, few, a few months ago, six months ago, by going for this offence, it does... And let's say they are successful before the British legal authorities. It doesn't preclude them from charging him with more serious offences once he's home? Maybe. I think, Richard, that there is an open question as to whether or not an individual who's been extradited on a particular charge when arriving in the country that seeks his presence can then charge him with anything additional to that. Uh, it's, to me, it's an open legal question whether or not that is possible right. or whether or not they only are there for the purposes of this one so, offence and that they have nothing more that they can add on. There are some exceptions to that, but it's by no means a clear-cut case that they can just pile on additional charges once he hits the United States shores. Now, I recognise, of course, you're, you're a US lawyer and this is going... The extradition proceedings will be in uh, the English legal system. But, but, but let, let's just play around with this for a second. Uh, the idea, first of all, of course, is defence against being sent to the US will be that it is a, it, it is a political act uh, and that it is a political reason. It is not a criminal reason. And to some extent, uh, that might be true from the US point of view. Will that weigh with the Home Secretary who has the final decision? Well, it's a good question. Remember, the president, the, the candidate, uh, Donald Trump, throughout the campaign, was encouraging WikiLeaks, Julian Assange, to find Hillary Clinton's email. So in some sense, there's, uh, you know, this uh, unfortunate situation for the president now, which is he was asking WikiLeaks essentially to do the exact same thing that the United States Justice Department has charged Julian Assange with as a mm. criminal act. So that, you know, impregnates this whole issue with politics because what they distributed was information right. that the United States government found embarrassing. And, and that was the same case in the Pentagon Papers. So you cannot separate the politics of this from the criminal charges. And the British courts are going to have to evaluate how much they think that should weigh in their decision to send or not send Assange to the United States. Michael Zeldin, uh, thank you, sir. You'll be brushing up 
I'm sure your knowledge of the extra extradition in the UK system in the weeks ahead, because I'm certain this will end up going to the Supreme Court in Britain, in, in London, and uh, and the Home Secretary. Good to see you, Michael. Thank you.